Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So, um, so will this integral diverge or will it converge from one to infinity, from from uh, from from one all the way to infinity? So, will this area converge or will it diverge? Don't forget, you've got a a, a hump here, and then you've got a, a as as you go on to the right, you've got another smaller hump, and so on. So, uh, so will this integral diverge or will it converge? So, press pause and have a go. Okay, so the secret to doing this is to um, to realize that you have to compare this with one over x squared, and uh, and if, if you look at this here, if you look at this, sine of x looks like this. So a sine of x, uh, the highest the highest value is one, the lowest is negative one. But then when you square it, it's it's going to be it's going to be well the highest will be one times one. So so this thing here will be in between. Will we'll be in between zero and uh, and one. So uh, so we we can say that this thing here will be uh, will be sh will be less than or great sorry less than or equal to one over x squared. So we can we can um, we can we can com we can compare this with this. So the secret to doing this is really to compare to compare this with this. And we've already seen that um, our uh, one over x squared. So, uh, so one over x squared. So let's say this is one here. This area here, from one all the way to infinity, from one all the way to infinity. We've already done it many times, and you should ingrain this in your head um, that this here should converge. So remember, uh, one over x looks like this. One over x looks like this. One, one. So uh, w w with one over x. This thing here will diverge, and this thing here will, will also diverge. And you, you should ingrain this in your mind. But then if you have 1 over x squared, 1 over x squared will look something like this. 1 over x squared will look something like this. Then, then the integral from 1 to infinity, then the integral of 1 from 1 to infinity of 1 over x squared, it will converge. And then this bit here will diverge. But then if you have this number to be less than 1, let's say 1 over x to the power of a half, then, then that will look something like this. That will look something. Like, that will look something like this. And then this area. Then, the, then the integral of this from one to infinity. This here should should um, should diverge, and the, and then and then for and then this area here will converge for and so on. You you should ingrain this in your mind. So uh, so so you know that one over x squared, one over x squared from this to this. This thing here will uh, will. Will uh, will converge. Therefore, therefore, this must converge because this is bigger than this. So, if you have a function that's bigger than than another function, well, if the if the area of the big function converge, then the then the area of the small the small function will have no choice but also to converge. Okay.